I've lived in New York City for more than a quarter of a century. I've worked here for decades at ad agencies, CNN, NBC, Fox, you name it. So I've been exposed to all sorts of people in working environments here in New York. And to me, it is very clear that the coastal elite bubble is very real. But not everyone in the bubble, like me, can actually see the bubble. And one of those bubble deniers is George Clooney. George has a new movie coming out, so he's doing the interview circuit, going around and saying things to make headlines so that people will learn about his movie and go buy tickets. And one interview he just gave was to the Daily Beast. In the Daily Beast interview, the writer gushes about how much charm George has and all the usual butt kissing that goes on inside the bubble. And Clooney waxes verbose on lots of different topics, including why he thinks Hillary lost, and racism, and all the other hot topics that will generate headlines right this moment to promote his movie. And so of course he bashes President Trump because that's sure to get you views these days. And while he's talking about Trump, George actually ends up saying that, quote, this idea of coastal elites living in a bubble is ridiculous. And that's the point where I start wanting to tear out my hair. Clooney defends the idea that the bubble doesn't exist because lots of people move from the Midwest to LA and New York. And in fact, he's from Kentucky. So he thinks that nullifies the idea of the coastal elite bubble. Of course, he doesn't mention that his aunt was a famous singer, which probably helped him when he got to Hollywood. He also doesn't mention his 7,300 square foot home in LA, or his swank Italian home on Lake Cuomo, or his home in Los Cabos, Mexico, or his $10 million home on the River Thames in England. He doesn't mention that he just got a ton of press for flying his newborn twins around the globe in his private jet either. Nope. He just says he's from Kentucky. So the idea of the coastal elite bubble is ridiculous. Listen, I love living in New York. In my neighborhood, I live among Muslims, Hispanics, gays, straights, trans, Eastern Euros, you name it, it is a global village and I love it. But I see the bubble for what it is around me. It does exist. And all of the microphones are inside that bubble. All of our movies and news and media, it all comes from inside the bubble. I'm not gonna try to deny it, even though I don't like it. And until people like Clooney see it too, it's going to keep on suffocating them completely and the backlash will continue until eventually that bubble is bound to pop.